So um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh all right, so we're here in Mount Gambia, South Australia. Why are we here? What is this building? The demonence! The demonence of the old uh, Mount Gambia Hospital. I'm pretty sure this building was part of it and they kept that one. I think this is sort of just like a multi-use sort of you know, area-esque thing. That used to be part of the hospital too. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure right where I'm standing here was a huge building. Yeah, not much left. This is just sort of like a quick, sort of horribly wind noisy sort of update video just to document the current state. And um, yeah, right here, that was a nursing school, I'm pretty sure, but now it's just a lovely park. I love the little retro things covering up the windows. But yeah, that is the front of the hospital. What's left of it, I guess. And, uh, yeah. Documentary update for the future, I guess. No one cares though. They've turned this part of the hospital all into apartments, it looks like. Which I guess is much better than demolishing it all, which is the fate of the rest of the hospital. Yeah. Where mum went is part of the hospital as well. Yeah, she went to the toilet back there in the grandstand thing. Very lovely 30s. Do you think this is a Art Deco 30s yeah. building? Yeah, so it would have been cool. Yeah. That water tower is really part of the hospital as well, I would assume. But uh, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Awesome type of car park area thing. A plaque. A park as well. Okay, now for a little demonence discussion. The monolithic 216-bed Mount Gambier Hospital was opened in 1961 and chugged along quite well for many years. Hmm, but this building here looks a little bit older than the 1960s. Curious. There was also a nursing school on site which operated in conjunction with the hospital. In the late 1990s, the hospital closed forever following the construction of a new public hospital on Well Street North. The site was then sold to private interests and sat derelict for around 15 years, in which time the S shaped boy came and ripped a mad burner on the wall. Look at that piece! Or is it that piece? In November 2011, the City of Mount Gambia City Council purchased the 4.9 hectare site for $1.4 million after the property was placed into receivership. In mid-2013, Adelaide-based demolition company McMahan Services were awarded the $3.5 million contract to demolish a seven-story complex and create a public park on its place. By early December 2013, demolition works were fully underway. A special excavator with a super long arm was used to snip through the concrete structure. Works continued into 2014 with the whole site being revamped into a park with the ruins of the hospital being used to terraform the parkland. The architecturally awesome laundry building was saved from the destruction and was later converted into a pavilion with public toilets to serve the new park. During the demolition a few residents wanted the laundry building gone too but luckily it was saved for its distinctive barrel vaulted curved roof design and panoramic views over the city. Some Mount Gambians wanted to save the hospital's boiler house and bunker too but they were not spared. Ideas for a name for the new park were put to the people of Mount Gambia to come up with. Elizabeth Knight Reserve, Maru Wangula Papanik, which means Hospital Hill in the local Aboriginal language for that area. Molly Oden Park, Nurses Park, the old hospital reserve, were the names shortlisted by the council. The name Elizabeth Knight Reserve won the vote. But who was Elizabeth Knight? Elizabeth Knight was a pioneer of Mount Gambia who served the community as a nurse and midwife for many decades. When she arrived in Mount Gambia in 1853, there was only seven inhabited places in the settlement. Elizabeth ran a private hospice from a residence in Herbert Street and was one of the first nurses at the Mount Gambia Hospital. That would obviously be the even older Mount Gambia Hospital. Mount Gambia Hospital, gone but not forgotten due to Thanks for watching.